welcome to another episode of Emily Tries to Do Things Japanese Children Can Already Do. Today it's another one of these candy kits, but this one is to make candy sushi. Ah, some sushi plates. So like the last one, we can cut this out and use it as like a serving tray. And some guidelines sizes to make things. Let's take a look. So this is the tray that's going to help us mould um, what looks like a small Lego brick, um, a pipette, like a dropper thing. This looks like an ice cream spoon that you get at the seaside. Okay, and stuff like a soy sauce thing. Pink and orange, green and different orange. I think that's the other. And blue. Let's try making something. Um, I know some of these words. So let's make some rice. Blue. can already tell I've used way too much water. Okay, yeah, maybe I should edit that to say, this is exactly how much water you need. Because I knew that, obviously. Ah, I see, okay. See, this, this Japanese writing, I can read. Mizu, and that's water. Hmm. Pineapple, maybe? Well, maybe you need a, a bit more. <laughs> Let's make some candy tuna. Maguro. Okay, now we have rice, tuna, and egg. Next, oh, I see. Next is the tricky part, this salmon row. I think this one sets it. And this is the colored one, it's gonna make the row. going to go in this one. I've just noticed there's little lines on where to put the water. <laughs> Whoops. Oh no. I'm pretty sure that not supposed to happen. Okay, moment of truth. We're gonna try dropping tiny little drops of this orange mixture into here, but hopefully they're going to turn into little salmon row balls. Okay, now I think we have all the things we need, um, apart from the nori, so, <laughs> okay, so this is going to help me portion the rice, and this is going to help me stretch out the nori, which is not in fact Lego.
Hmm. Well, it's certainly longer. Okay, let's portion out the rice. So, carefully. Okay, let's try to put the tuna and the egg on. So, is it set? Oh, it's set! That's amazing! <laughs> it's got like egg imprint. That's amazing. So, we're gonna mush the edges off because the edges are going to be used for something else. <clears throat> yes, and that is the technical term smush. One egg. Let's try the tuna eggs. Okay. The egg and the tuna's done, so we're going to try and make this one with the nori. And the salmon roe is going to like sit inside there. Look at that. And this one, if you look on the box, kind of smashed up tuna and the egg and the roe all together. Okay, last we're going to make some soy sauce. You'll be happy to know it smells like cola and not, in fact, soy sauce. Very important, in Japan you put soy sauce on a fish, not on the rice. And there you have it. So let's try some. That may be the weirdest thing I've ever eaten. It does kind of faintly taste like fruit. Soy sauce slash cola is kind of sour. Here I go, wish me luck. Oh my god. Oh, is that licorice? Why does anybody use licorice? It's always the worst part of everything it's in. Okay, let's just check this is an egg. Yeah, again, vaguely fruity. Maybe it's, um, Pineapple or lemon or apple is fruit. It's fruit flavoured. So there you go. It was fun to make. I have to say I'm going to be sticking to um, traditional sushi from now on. Okay, thanks for joining me. Uh, come back next time where I will be trying to make an origami crane for the first time. Sayonara!